I went to grab some things I'm redoing and DIYing my bathroom. So I ran into Dollar Tree to grab a few things um, and found some extra goodies, of course, while I was in there. So the first thing I got was this. Um, I don't know how it smells, to be honest with you. I don't really care. Uh, it's solid black and looks awesome, so it'll look cool with my decor. It is by Delta Brands. So, not a Dollar Tree brand. It's called Charcoal Noir. Just odor neutralizing beads. So, I mean, effective in a bathroom, I guess. But anyways, solid black. Um, little, like, pineapple shape. There's, there we go. Just got all those little beads in there. Um, so cute. Grab that. I need this for part of my DIY. It's one of their little baby uh, succulent plants. Um, this one have been pulled out and then put back in, in but I don't care because I just need the plant which is like excellent looking and I need it to be in the little potter um the rest I'm gonna put rocks and stuff in but anyways so cute I love it it's beautiful but anyways yes little baby pretend succulent um I grabbed one of their, I've never used this before, I use their chalk pens all the time, but um, this is their metallic marker, and I grabbed one in silver. They also have them in rose gold, so if I like this one, I may have to go get a rose gold one too, but most of the stuff I'll be doing is white and silver, so grab that. Grabbed the English version <laughs> tub um, for the other half of my bathroom sink and DIY. I got the one that was in French found this randomly I was stupid excited because you guys know like if you know me my house is mainly Halloween year-round um, very spooky uh, macabre that kind of thing so they had put out these galvanized metal signs one they found one left from last year and it says haunted spooky and beware so I get to use those in a DIY of some kind. Do I know what I'm doing with them? Nope. Am I going to use them? Yep. They were a dollar. Three signs for a dollar. Yes, please. And thank you. Uh, let's see. I got so many books. They had put out so many books. But first, before we get to that, I've been looking for these to go with that whiskey candle that I had gotten from another Dollar Tree. Sorry about the crinkles. If you don't like crinkles, I like crinkles. But not everybody does. So I got two of these. It is their whiskey tumblers so I can have official whiskey glasses to make my whiskey smash in. I am addicted to whiskey smash right now. Well, it reminds me, I should have grabbed some juice. I think I have, still have some in the house. Oh well. And I think after that, the rest is booked. Yeah, maybe. No, there's a couple other things. And then the rest of the book. Okay. I already forgot what I had to go in for. So I grabbed one of their flexible stencils. Um, this one does, I like, did like this to make sure. It does have the A, B, C, D, E, and F at the top. Left out a letter. Um, but this is just one of those flexible stencils. So that way I can... Um, put it on literally anything and stencil it in. I don't know how to stencil. We're going to try it. Um, it says it works on glass, wooden surfaces, gift boxes, walls, tiles, cards, notebooks, scrapbooking, ceramic, and more. You just wash it off when you're done. That's the examples they have on the back. So, Anyways, pray that works out for me. I got white out because I'm an idiot and filled out my entire first week for this month uh, in my planner on the first week of March. So, white out. I finally got my hands on the solid white chalk. They'd been out for a while. Grab some. Yay. I got the little tiny blocks that you've shown me, seen me, <laughs> that you've seen me show in walkthroughs. I picked them up because I finally know what I need them for. And one of these little trays with the cute little star cutouts. And that is it 
for non-book items. Everything else is books, and let me tell you, it's, it's a lot. It is a lot, you guys. They put out so many new books, so I went crazy. So the first is non-cookbooks. I grabbed this for my daughter, Saddles and Secrets, um, by Pulitzer Prize winner Jane Smiley. It is an Ed, Ellen and Ned book. Um, she wrote prep, writing lessons, and I guess a couple, there's like a series, but it's a mystery novel um, for younger younger kids, younger girls, preteens, I don't know, whatever. But I flipped through it, my daughter will love it. So uh, I got this by New York Times bestselling author Claire McIntosh. Uh, she is a number one international best-selling author and it's called Let Me Lie. In the back the top just says the police say it was suicide, Anna says it was murder, and they're both wrong. So it's about a daughter trying to figure out what happened to her parents years ago. I got The Neighbors, What's Going On in the House Next Door, um, USA best-selling author, and the synopsis was a couple next door meets Gone Girl in this addictive thriller, Once I Started Reading, I Couldn't Stop, by Joseph Sousa. Oh, this one retailed for $15.95. This one retailed for $16. And this one retailed for... Oh, probably $10 because it's a kid's book. I don't know. I don't know. It is hardcover, though. So this one... Oh, gosh. This one retailed for $16.99. That's it for non, um, non cookbooks and health books. Now we get into the bulk, the bulk of things. Are you guys ready for this? Because I died. So first up, look at this. Oh my gosh. It is a cookbook, obviously. Uh, about chocolate. I'm trying to get the label off the back so I can see what the retail was. <laughs> $24.95. It retails for $24.95. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Even the spine is gorgeous. So it's just called the chocolate. With a little mixing from the little mixing bowl. The chocolate. Recipes and sweet secrets from Seattle's favorite chocolate maker. And of course, like, ooh, can't read that at all. There we go lots of words and stories and talking about how they roast. The book even smells good. I, I just love books, you guys. Um, coating with chocolate, toffees and brittles. Uh, then you get to the back where they actually have like more recipes. And it's just amazing. Look, chocolate for dinner. I'm sold. million dollar chocolate peanut butter pie, chocolate sticky rice pudding, chocolate mousse, chocolate sorbet. I mean, I'm just the photos alone make this book beyond worth the dollar. Like, so excited to see that. Then I got Sweet and Savory Cupcakes and Sometimes Boozy by Allison Reed. Um, this one retailed for... Da, 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 da. <laughs> one day I will learn to peel these back before I do the haul, but today is not that day. It retailed for $18.95. They have uh, chocolate pino, pinot noir cupcakes. I don't ever drink that way, so I never say it right. I drink pinot grigio. Uh, strawberry filling, dark chocolate buttercream, cucumber mint cupcakes, lime buttercream with fresh mint. Sharp cheddar cupcakes, honey blue cheese frosting, and candy pecans. That sounds dope. But yeah. Anyways, as I get distracted and hungry, I'm very hungry. It has like how many it makes, the total time that it's gonna take you. Pretty little pictures. Like even if you weren't gonna cook these, like the book for a dollar alone, you could buy it, rip out or cut out the images, 
and use them as decor on like DIYs, like put them on a sign. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. So yeah. Uh, I wonder if this, I should look. I wonder if this has a German chocolate cake recipe in it. Doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. I don't see it under German chocolate, but maybe it's under chocolate. We're gonna find out together, you guys. Chocolates. Ooh, chai tea. Now I'm starving. And I actually need to eat dinner, not a cupcake. I don't see one, but I'm just kind of running through really quick. Anyways, very excited about that. Then I got my hands on Hungry Girl. 200 under 200. Just desserts, 200 recipes under 200 calories. Uh, this one is um, not hardback, but still really nice pictures easy to follow directions and everybody loves dessert oh yeah and on the sides like this has 103 calories per serving um like 111 each one shows you and then you get little recipe pictures creme brulee stuffed apple apple pie sweet cinnamon pear shakers Desserts in disguise. Ooh. Apple pie nachos. Ooh, pumpkin pie pot stickers. That sounds good. Uh, anyways, yeah, just once again, just loads of recipes. Cake pops, cupcakes, dessert. Clearly, I was in a dessert mood today because uh, <laughs> that's what I went for. But, anyways, I was excited to find that. Um, I actually like have a lot of her recipes saved on like, Pinterest and printed out and whatnot. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And this book retailed for $19.99. So $19.99. Then I got this for my husband. So excited. Look how massive that is. And it's called Born to Grill. That looks delicious too. Oh my God, I need to eat. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Anyways, with America's outdoor cooking experts, Cheryl and Bill Jamison, James Beard award-winning authors, and they also wrote Smoke and Spice, I guess that wasn't there. But anyways, I grabbed this one because he's obsessed with grilling right now. Uh, they have like recipes of Java bones, cocoa glazed baby backs. That's what it looks like inside. Um, this one is definitely less frills, which is just peachy for the husband because he's not going to care. <laughs> Garlic and guac burger, um, fennel crusted tuna, chopped salad, soft shell salad, all kinds of nummins as my son would say. Crispy tortillas with chicken. Ooh, crunchy walnut pears. That sounds good. But yeah. Uh, they even have like, what is this? All American accompaniments. So recipes for sides. It is a huge book. What is that? Uh, 500 pages. 500 page book on grilling. So essentially at this point, I don't think I should ever have to cook ever again. He can just do it all. 500 pages. I'll cook when he's done with all 500 pages. This one retailed for, oh, it's up at the top, $18.95. And then I grabbed Find Your True Fork. Beautiful hardcover book with very adorable fork pictures all over it. It is Wanderlust Journeys and Healthy, Delicious, and Ethical Eating. Um, so, of course, I was excited. I used to be vegan a long time ago. Um, and I try to still, I still eat very healthy and try to make sure things are sustainably sourced. Um, that I'm big into cruelty-free beauty and hair products. So, this appealed to me for that. Um, it's even on acid-free and recycled paper. So... 
the images, even just in the beginning of the book, are beautiful with quotes. Again, this book smells good. Um, they let me talk about closed loop farming. And then you get delicious recipes like this. <laughs> Savory cauliflower waffles with creamy smash peas. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> What's in season? Another recipe. Just all kinds of uh, amazing persimmon, blackberry, panna cotta. Um, there's even Ayurvedic, Ayur, Ayurvedic, I think is how you say it, medicine in the back. with an excerpt on how to eat for your body and what you need to focus on in healing and like discovering your dosha. So yeah, awesome book. Awesome, awesome find for a dollar and this retails for $25.99. And last but not least, an Irish country and my mom always cooked really good Irish like home food for us. Um, and so I snagged this immediately. It was the only one on the shelf and I was like, it is not for me. More than 140 family recipes from soda bread to Irish stew paired with 10 new charming short stories from the beloved Irish country series. So yeah, I was excited. So they do, they have like the little little stories in there. And then like recipes for Colt Cannon, um, flourless potato cake, um, just like all kinds of good stuff. Let's see, chocolate mousse. Yeah, the desserts are strong today. Brownie sauce, um, puddings, coffee, ice cream, rhubarb pool, cakes and biscuits. Ooh, peppermint cream. They even have a, like a little Christmas and uh, winter solstice section. Aww. Fish, pork, Irish stew, pan seared, pan seared duck breast, lemony chicken with mustard sauce, cottage pie. It is not heavy on the pictures at all. In fact, there's ooh, mussels in Guinness. Yes, please. Um, but there are stories all over it so um it's it is definitely not one that you really get for the pictures there are some but i don't care because it's got amazing recipes some like said some of the stuff my mom made for me when i was a kid um and this retail for 21.99 that is pricey for a paperback but anyway i grabbed this one so that's it you guys that is what I got at the Dollar Tree today. You have no idea how elated I am to freaking find these books. Um, oh no, I lied. I lied. There's still one book left. Then we'll be done. 365 vegan smoothies. This retailed for $21. Um, it looked delicious. Once again, I'm gonna starve to death because there's walnut carrot cake, peachy melon, crazy cookie bar shake, maple pecan pie shake, coffee banana freeze, mega mango morning shake, raspberry runner's high, homemade nut milk, homemade vanilla bean hemp milk, and then of course like your tools and just whatever, whatever, a vanilla skinny shake, avocado different avocado shakes look at this this is a skinny caramel apple cider oh my gosh look at this one this is the pecan maple pie oh, i need it i'm so hungry a cocoa acai protein shake yeah i'm hungry but this is phenomenal for a dollar. This is the Peach Cantaloupe Skin Soother. Ooh, for your skin. I'm big into skincare. So, I mean, we have to make that. Yeah, that sounds good. And during the summer, like, I just prefer to live on shakes. Like, I just, it's too hot. It is just too hot. So anyways, 
now we're officially done. And uh, it even contains a 12 month wellness program, it says. So there's that. But now we are done. I've showed you everything. My husband probably thinks I'm lost, so I should go home. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this haul, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!